Thank you for your interest in CyberLock, an access control system based on electronic lock cylinders, programmable keys, and flexible management software. This presentation gives an overview of CyberLock hardware and software. CyberLock electronic cylinders offer a high degree of security because they have no conventional keyway that is vulnerable to being picked. These electronic cylinders are the exact dimensions of the mechanical cylinders they replace. They install into the lock hardware with the same ease of a mechanical cylinder and do not change how the lock hardware functions. No wiring or battery is needed at the lock. Power is provided by the battery in the key. With over 250 cylinder designs, CyberLock installs in interior and exterior doors, padlocks, containers, and cabinets. The CyberLock cylinder has a circuit board with a microprocessor and memory. Four types of intelligence are stored in the cylinder. The unique ID of the lock cylinder, a record of the last 1100 events, a lost key list, and encrypted access codes. Encrypted access codes ensure only keys within the system are able to work with the lock. The cyber key is a highly programmable electronic key that cannot be duplicated. One key can be used to open any of the locks in the system, from entryway doors to cabinets and padlocks on gates. The key is programmed with the access permissions for that user, what locks they are allowed to open, and on what days and times. Advanced software options offer additional features for the key. For example, a cyber key may be programmed to download the audit trail of a lock or add a lost keys ID to the lock's lost key list. Cyber keys contain four levels of intelligence. Encrypted access codes to ensure the key is from the same system as the lock. The unique ID of the key. Access schedules for the user of the key and storage of up to 3,900 events, both authorized and denied. The key also houses a clock and the battery, which powers the key and the locks it contacts. There are two types of cyber key battery systems, rechargeable and replaceable. It's important to note that all the data and schedule information is always retained in the key, even if the battery is too low to maintain the processor. The replaceable battery key has a standard CR2 lithium 3 volt battery that is easily replaced in the field. A single battery will provide between 2,000 and 5,000 openings with a maximum life of one year. When the voltage of the battery is low, the key beeps much in the same way as a smoke alarm. The rechargeable battery charges in one to two hours. A single charge provides an average of 500 openings. The rechargeable battery has a life up to five years. When the voltage of the battery is low, the key's red LED will flash. If a replaceable or rechargeable battery is fully depleted, the key will not work until the battery has been replaced or recharged, and the clock has been reset by updating with the software. Here's what the key does when it contacts a cylinder. First, it supplies power to the cylinder and communications are established. Then, in a fraction of a second, a sequence of events occurs to determine if the key can open the lock. The cylinder and key exchange IDs. The key verifies that it has access to the lock and that it is there during its scheduled access times. If everything matches up, the key sends its access code to the lock. At the same moment, the lock checks the key ID against its list of lost keys. If the key ID is in the list, the lock denies entry and the key alarms. A denied event is written in the memory of the lock and the key, and the key is disabled from opening any other lock. If the key ID is not on the list of lost keys, and the locks and keys encrypted access codes match, the lock grants access. An authorized to open event is written in the key and the lock. If a key attempts to access the lock outside of its scheduled times, the key alarms and a denied event is written in the key. Cyber keys, unlike mechanical keys, can be set to expire regularly, even on a daily basis. Frequent key expiration provides a higher level of overall security, better key control, decreased risk if the key is lost, 
and the most recent audit trail events downloaded from the keys. Expired keys need to be reauthorized before they can open locks again. Cyber keys use communicators to download their audit trail data and get new programming instructions. There are many types of communicators to choose from, such as authorizers, PDA cell phones, cyber key vaults, IR encoders, and the USB and web stations. The decision on which communicators to use depends on the need for security and convenience. CyberKey authorizers are durable and ideal for remote locations. They allow users to conveniently renew their expired keys on a daily basis for a high degree of key control. The CyberKey authorizer has two components, the hub and the key port. There are three types of authorizers, web authorizers, LAN authorizers, and LAN modem authorizers. The authorizer key port allows users to conveniently update their keys. It is rated for outside use and attaches to a single electrical box with security screws. It has an easy to read display that leads the key holder through the process of updating their key. The keypad allows entry of an optional pin. The mini key port is a very small alternative to the standard key port. The mini key port has a simple interface and can be used where entering numbers on a keypad is not required. Bluetooth and infrared cyber keys can communicate directly to cellular PDAs. Cyber key vaults are intelligent key cabinets that automatically program and dispense cyber keys. Cyber keys are stored securely in the cabinets in an unprogrammed state. When authorized users identify themselves with an RFID card or PIN, a key is then programmed with their access permissions and released from the cabinet. When the key is returned, the access events stored in the memory of the key are sent to the cyber audit software over a secure network. In addition, information on when the cabinet was opened and a key removed, as well as when the key was returned, is reported. CyberKey Vault holds one CyberKey and CyberKey Vault 20 holds 20 CyberKeys. Cabinets charge the battery of the rechargeable CyberKeys. The IR encoder is a communicator that connects to a USB port on a desktop or laptop computer. The USB and web stations connect to a USB port. In addition, the web station connects to the Internet or network via standard CAT5 cable from an indoor location. These stations update all types of cyber keys and charge the rechargeable cyber keys. There are four ways to manage your hardware depending on the requirements of your application. Entry Point, Cyber Audit Web Lite, Cyber Audit Web Professional, and Cyber Audit Web Enterprise. Entry Point is a basic system comprised of hardware only. No software is required. With Entry Point, a Grand Master Key is used to encode user keys and locks with a unique encrypted access code. Once encoded, the system is secure. Cyber keys cannot be duplicated and locks provide a high level of security. The keys are given access to the locks within the system 24 hours per day, 7 days per week. Entry Point is a good solution for small installations that require high security locks and keys. If more capability is needed, you may upgrade to Light, Professional, or Enterprise. Cyber Audit Web Lite provides all the capabilities of the Entry Point system, plus the added ability to set access schedules and view audit trail information. The user simply clicks on a common intersection to set a schedule for a key to open each lock. Audit information can be viewed for each lock and key, or for all locks and keys. The software installs on your computer and uses your internet browser for system management. The communicators available for use with Lite are the IR encoder and the USB station. Lite offers a high security solution for a small installation of locks and keys. If more capability is needed, you may upgrade to professional or enterprise. 
The Cyber Audit Web Professional software installs on a computer or server. Like Light, a browser is used to manage the software. Highlights include group access, bulk schedule settings, display of audit information, email notification of specific events, automatic management of key expirations, and report generation. With Professional, programming of the user keys can be done either at the computer or from remote locations via a network or the Internet. The communicators used with Professional are the CyberKey Vault, IR encoder, USB and web stations, and authorizers. Professional is designed for a medium-sized, localized installation of approximately 500 locks, 500 keys, and five simultaneous software administrators. If more capability is needed, you may upgrade to Enterprise. Cyber Audit Web Enterprise is server-based software ideal for more complex installations. Large numbers or geographically widespread locks or people can be managed with Enterprise. Every CyberLock communicator is available with Enterprise, including CyberKey authorizers, cell phones, CyberKey vaults, IR encoders, and the USB and web stations. In addition to standard features found in Cyber Audit Web Professional, Enterprise offers the following features. Multiple administrators can be assigned to manage an enterprise system. After logging in, each administrator sees only the locks, keys, and other components they are intended to see, and may only perform the actions they are given permission to do. In addition, locks and keys may be grouped to easily manage a large installation. Enterprise can be accessed by browser from anywhere in the world, either over an internal network or the Internet. Administrators can log on from any location to view and manage cyber locks and cyber keys for which they are responsible. Time zones are managed through the software, so keys are programmed properly for the time zone in which the key resides. With Enterprise, on-demand access can be given by using cell phones or laptops to update user keys in the field. Therefore, increasing the security and efficiency of the workforce. Enterprise is packaged on a server, ready to mount in a server rack. It comes complete with the operating system, application, and database. Server components have been selected for the highest levels of performance and reliability, and have the capacity for expansion. As packaged, the server runs quickly and efficiently with as many as 15,000 locks and 15,000 keys and 500 users or remote devices. For larger installations, please contact Videx Technical Support to discuss hardware upgrades. Finally, Enterprise can serve as a component of an overall business management system. An XML RPC software development kit enables an external software program to automate the task of granting or revoking access permissions. And audit trail data can be made accessible to programs like Crystal Reports to perform detailed analysis using specific rules. For further information, please contact your certified CyberLock reseller or the Videx Sales Department by phone at 541-738-5500, by email at sales at videx.com, or view our website at www.videx.com.